Welcome to Fox Tech. Today we're going to discuss how to change photos from portrait to landscape on your iPhone or iPad. This process is straightforward, but the specific steps you'll take depend on your goals and the results you're aiming for. To start with the basics, if you simply want to rotate a photo without making any other changes, the process is quite simple. Open the Photos app on your iPhone or iPad and find the photo you want to modify. Tap on the photo to open it, then click the Edit to this brings up several options for adjusting the photo, including brightness, color adjustments, and cropping tools. Within these editing tools, you'll find a rotation button. By tapping this button, you can rotate the photo in 90 degree increments. Continue tapping until your photo is oriented the way you want it, and then save your changes. This method works well if all you need is a straightforward rotation. However, if you're looking to convert a portrait photo to a landscape format while keeping the subject in the same position, things get a bit more complicated. This is because you will often lose parts of the image in the process or need to start with a wider shot to ensure you have enough material to work with. For instance, if you have a landscape photo with a person centered as the subject, you can crop the sides to turn it into a portrait photo. Conversely, converting a portrait photo into a landscape, one can be more challenging because you essentially need to add more image content. In these cases, you have a few options. You could leave the extra space on the sides blank, filling it with white or, you know, or another color. Alternatively, you could use generative AI to extend the background, effectively creating more image material where there was none before. This technique can be particularly useful, but requires an additional app or software that supports AI image generation. So while the initial step of rotating a photo is simple, achieving a seamless transition from portrait to landscape with the subject intact might require some creativity and additional tools. Thank you for watching this video on Fox Tech C. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. Your support helps us create more valuable content for you. Peace.